Hello everyone, you're watching College Review Series by Akash. Here I tell you everything that you need to know about an institute, about its campus, courses, placements, cutoffs, scope, and a lot more. So today I have brought to you NIT Mizoram. So if you're wondering whether or not you should consider this NIT, then stay with me till the end. NIT Mizoram is housed at a temporary campus in the picturesque city of Ezwal as the permanent campus is still under construction. The campus is spread over an area of 190 acres. The campus provide the NIT provide all the basic facilities such as hostels, computer lab, library along with digital library equipped with modern facilities, lab facilities, transportation facilities so students can commute from hostel to the institution smoothly and the sports facilities. Talking about the students' activities conducted here, so the NIT organizes a number of cultural activities throughout the year to mold its students and give them an all-round development opportunities. It organizes mainly three festivals annually, the Morphosis, which is a technical festival, Anuna, the annual cultural festival, and Shaurya, the sports festival. Further, if you talk about the courses offered here, see, BTEC is the flagship program that mainly specializes in, first of all, civil engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, mechanical engineering, and mathematics and computing. Now, there are total 190 seats available to the engineering students. Here is the seat matrix. As you can see, that 50% of the seats are available to the home state candidates, and remaining 50% seats are made available for the other states' candidates. Now, let's have a look at the rank cutoff 2023 in the respective branches. So, the first course, which is civil engineering. The rank requirement for home state candidates in this branch started from 3,39,831. Till six lakh seventy eight thousand four hundred and six, and for other state candidates, it was forty three thousand three hundred and eighteen to fifty eight thousand one hundred and thirty one. For computer science and engineering branch for home states, the required rank was between two lakh eighty four thousand four hundred and seventy three till four lakh forty four thousand eight hundred and fifty nine. For other states, the same was 28,938 to 31,336. Now, this means if you are able to secure 30,000 around rank, then you can easily get CSC branch here. Talking about electrical engineering, the rank cutoff for the home state candidates went up to 661,107. And for other states' candidates, it was from 45,091 to 48,542. Talking about electronics and communication engineering now. For home state candidates, the rank requirement started from 6,36,899 till 8,9789. And for the other states, it was 39,005 to 42,287. Next course, which is mathematics and computing. The rank cutoff for home state candidates went up to 8,34,722. And for other state candidates, the rank requirement was between 21,955 to 37,134. Mechanical Engineering, the opening and closing rank 6,36,017. Whereas for other states candidates, the opening rank was 51,403 and closing was 53,050. For more information on NIT Mizoram Cutoff 2023 or for category wise rank cutoff, that is for EWS, ST, SC, or for girls candidates, do visit the link given in the description. Coming on to the eligibility and the admission process. See, one thing is good about all these national institutes of technology is, irrespective of the NIRF ranking of the institute, all the NITs follow the same admission process and eligibility criteria. As the students seeking admission in one of the BTEC courses need to qualify, first of all, Joint Entrance Exam J Main, and secondly, pass Class 12 Board Examination with Science Stream. 75% is the required percentage for general category students and 65 is the required percentage for ST, SC or PWD category. Further, the students need to register themselves for JOSA counselling based on the marks secured in their J main. Thereafter, the selected students will get all their documents verified and pay the required fees. And yes, if you are a foreign student, then you will get selected through DASA and ICCR scheme. Now let's have a look at the fee structure. Here is the consolidated fee structure for all the eight semesters of the BTEC. 
So the total fee that comprises of tuition fee, which is $62,500 per semester, along with all the institutional charges, comes around to be $6,7700 for the entire BTEC program. Plus, if you are willing to avail hostel and mess facilities, then for hostel, $1,26,000 and for mess, $1,76,000 will have to be paid additionally. So, you can consider that BTEC from NIT Mizoram will cost you around 9.1 lakh. Now with this, the government also offers certain fee waivers to its meritorious and economically weaker section students like 100% tuition fee waiver for STSC or PWD category students, full remission of the tuition fee for all the general and OBC category students whose family income is less than 1 lakh rupee per day and two-thirds of the remission of tuition fee for all the general and OBC category students whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. In addition, the NIT also offers certain scholarship schemes to its academically brilliant students and financially weaker section students. So all the scholarship aspirants of the institutes can check the details of various scholarship schemes available under the umbrella of National Scholarship Portal. The link is given in the description. Talking about the placement statistics 2023. See, NIT Mizoram placements 2023 and internship 2024 are still undergoing. So according to the placement statistics 2022, around 78 students have been placed successfully in the various branches of engineering. Like 15 students have been placed from the ECE branch. 30, which is the highest number of students, have been placed from the CSE branch. 13 from EEE branch, 8 from civil engineering and 12 from mechanical engineering branch have been placed so far. So as per the available data, which is from the year 2022, the median package stood at 6.8 LPA. Now coming back to the placement statistics 2023, around 30 recruiters so far have visited the campus for the placements. Now let's see what do the students at NIT Mizoram have to say about this NIT. Students review. The students say, CSE and ECE departments are really good academically as well as from placements point of view. Placements are good as so many companies come for job. However, there is a lag in placements in civil engineering branch. Mizoram is not so developed, so you may not get many options for recreational activities around you. Almost all the departments have excellent faculty members. Mess food is not up to the mark. The admission process was friendly and smooth and the staff have been very supportive throughout. NIT Mizoram is an institute which is situated in the scenic beauty of Mizoram. The lush green landscapes and the heavenly climate give students a perfect atmosphere to study and to rejuvenate. And yes, remember, this NIT is a newly established and a growing NIT which may take some years in showing better placements opportunities and infrastructural facilities. At the very same time, CSC from NIT Mizoram can still be a wise decision to consider. Rest the call is all yours as this was all from me today. Now you let me know which one is your preferred college for engineering. And do not forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.